Hey, Foodie Farm, what's oh, going on? You know, we in Toku again. Today we're heading out with Rondell for a river tour, a river adventure. So come along with us. So if you're spying like we're resembling today, yeah, we're wearing grey, but Rhett is actually wearing our tank, and I am wearing a tea that I cut. You could customize this to how you want. And of course, the link for merch is in the description below. Cool. Come along for the journey. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So what's the name of the, of the river we had in Tukus? Here? Yeah. Rampalagas water. Rampalagas water. So we eat Rampalagas. A Spanish name. A Spanish word actually. Born in the village close to the Montreal National Forest. The Montreal National um, Park. Park, sorry. Which is our forest reserve on this side of the island. It's, which starts us from Sunny Bay all the way to Man. Alright, so we head in there. And there's two nice pools, one on top, which is um shallow for um people for children and good beer. And right. one for people who could swim is at the bottom. It's approximately about 10 to 15 foot okay. in depth, depending on the time of the year. So during dry season, of course, the water level jumped. Got it. Right? So now we have a little rain, so maybe a little yeah. pass of water. Which how is would good. you rate this? How would you rate this um oh. this trail or how, or how would you even refer to it? This is a trail, a hike, what is it? So this is um this is a trail, Mr. Okay. It. It's not really it's not really a hike. It's like fifteen to twenty minutes walk depending on each individual. Okay. But okay. I just call it a slippers hike. Okay, so trail. my mother could come on this hike. Yeah. Okay, got it. My daughter does hike this in her slippers and her crocs. Got it. <laughs> yeah, so got I see. It. Got it. So um, it's very family friendly. Yeah. It, it, it is always maintained by um, CPEP. Then there's a shed where you can cook and lime. Nice. Yeah, it's Everybody basically is family. Um, this, this community thrive on fishing and agriculture and some areas. And other people will work for the government. So it is developing. Um, there's a lot of work to be done still. But all in one, is, it's safe. And everybody is a real vibe. You understand? Yeah. It's a real vibe. So Ronald, what other type of um, tours and things you all offer? We do um, team building exercise also to so companies who want to have a lot of team building exercise with the group. We will provide that. So that way, Jesse come in. He is a physical instructor. So he specializes in that area and we come with team building exercise and kind of incorporate nature with it now. Right. right. So I think we did was um, a five team and five we had. You yeah, had a road run, had a trail run, and it had a beach run at the same time. So you, know, you kind of get a mixture of everything. You know, a lot of children actually were supposed to be there during this year, but you didn't get time and that kind of thing. But one coming again in December, so the culture that has helped. We tend to spread our wings too as well, and partner with different um, beach houses or hotels in the area. So if they have guests, they will, they will just ask to carry the, 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 the guests to, to like a trail or a waterfall. And also, we want to do uh, a therapeutic walk because you say something that everybody just do. So, like, this distress now. Yeah. You can yeah. clear your head, you know. Nature, give it a luxury, you know. You're distressed from your work week, you have uh, um, problems, you know, you take a nature walk and just free your and, and, and just free your um, head. So, we kind of want to cater for that soon. For people who enter this kind of thing, and we want to call it therapy to walk, you know, and we bring and we bring a lot of um, some uh, um, psychologists to help with that aspect. Anybody who need help, we see that um, fish has been neglected when it comes to carrying children, especially. We saw where groups that have carried like 20 children that time it was, and not even a rope. So, mo thing we just do the most is have life jackets for everybody. And I myself just go, he's be watching. I, I just go in the water, bathe with everybody, make sure everything cool down the branches and that kind of thing. Run a rope sometimes, depending on where it is. So, you know, everybody will feel safe and if you feel comfortable to bathe as well. Some persons want to take a little jump, I teach them the proper technique, that kind of thing, how to hold the life jacket. And, yeah. And um, is there like a ratio of adults to kids? Because I like, oh, you use that example of some people who are 20 kids. So we um so uh, basically we don't really um, have a cutoff point, but the smaller it is, the better we can control because it's more um manageable for us because safety as I say is a real real big thing for us. So um what we tend to do is um have children ages five and up, and then below five because basically we really can't see everybody. Children tend to be smaller, they tend to be um 
like um, curious. So if the the older that it is, they can be supervised um, properly, and somebody can at least watch them. And they must be accompanied with that adult at all times. At all times, right? Well, at, at all times, you must have one child. So, so one adult at all right. times. You don't ever have more children than adults if you have that kind of crowd. You know. Got it. So this is Hawk Plum, um, the scientific name for this spontaneous Mumbin, it's native to South America and here too as well. Um, a lot of people um, don't know that you can eat this. My this one is relatively sweet. Some do be um, sour. Right? And this make a good juice, a good wine. So when you see it in the bush, feel free to try it and eat it. Nah? Hmm? How much? You could um the can roll it over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll, 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 I'm strong with you. Don't mean we close or? Yeah. So we almost reach the, we reach the um, river. So just, just about the river there, there's a shed where um, people come and cook. I, I say if you have a, a big family, an extended family, they come and cook, colored duck and, you know, your um, curry chicken, dumpling of course, right? Uh, so well, as you can see, the, the walk is not really a challenging walk. So you can walk with your pot here in Stover gas tank. You understand? If you're up to that, but I always recommend a far side pot is always the better pot by a, <laughs> by a river. You know, walk that gas tank in the bush, you know. So, yeah, so this here is called a mora seed, right? And it falls from one of these trees here, mora tree, which is a real, real hardwood. But most people don't know that mora seed, you can eat the mora seed. I uh, know, for sure, no, red, like all the punch. <laughs> <laughs> You can make a punch with a with, with, with more acid. In other um, countries, let us bake it as make oil. So what you do, you peel off here. Okay? Now this is not, not, not really a fresh one. Okay? Peel off the skin. Okay? You get all the skin off. Okay? And you can grate it in your punch or um, porridge. It's similar like how you grate like tonka bean seed. Correct. Okay? Does it have like a, a distinctive taste? So where yeah, we can try the yeah, we'll try it now. Now. To, to try it. Right? Yeah, it, it has consistency like a sour. Correct. So yeah, I agree with it. Mm -hmm. You understand? If you don't know? Yeah, it's huh? a little bit at the beginning. Correct. So but it gets sweeter though. Correct. So that's grated and for for punch and if I can make am porridge. Right? My old 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 tour guide instructor. Well he um, he is deceased now, taught us that and we are all our means. So I never know that you could eat this. Yeah, does it have any like um, medicinal properties? They say there's a lot of um, a lot of um, protein in it, so like a big nut. Okay. And well, as I say, in some countries they bake it to get the oil and thing. Right. So I'm guessing there is plenty, plenty, plenty nutritional values to it. Right. I still have to do some research. Yeah. But yeah, you can eat it. So right in. Right in. <laughs> you understand? So yeah, you know, you're your, your grill if you want to use that grill, you know, by all means. So, yeah. so this would have been set up by who? CPEP. How long ago? Um, This would have set up about two years ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, not too long? Not too long ago. Because I never had a shed here. So I CPEP decided, all right, I put a shed. Which to me makes a lot of sense. A shed by a river. Why not? Anything for a pot, right? It does make sense. Very important safety tip to know something my grandfather taught me when I was like four. If you're bathing in the river, right? Since, as Rondell mentioned a while ago, there's a lot of water sources that would contribute to river that would be closer to villages and that kind of thing, right? Um, something you want to pay attention to, even if, let me say, the weather like this, but you know, rain falling somewhere else, um, look at the water for leaves coming down. When you see leaves that are coming down, right? Usually, a big gush of water coming after. It has many incidents where in this environment, when I was like 10, 
uh, group of people almost got washed down the river because they wasn't paying attention to that. Mm. So you'd be here and you'd be in everything nice and you know it looking like, like it's a pool scene but pay attention to that. When you see leaves start to come down, pretty soon you'll see water start to get brown. A nice thing to do is this. Take a stone and make a mark on a rock right by the river and keep, keep watching it every five minutes. When you see that sort of rise, get up. Get because out. as easy as you could be here and everything all nice, Big gush of water, but just come down and just take care of it. So, something really pay attention to. And we see wow. this happen every year. Every year, people don't pay attention to that. And fortunately, this is fun, but you know, it's alive, but we don't want to have yeah. that incident. So, you know those I mean? are like simple, simple safety simple things you could, yeah. you just, could implement. Just look for leaves coming down the river, look for the water again, and I'll do it. Yeah, look for the water rising. All I'm gonna think when you know the, if you know this, this season that rain is really falling, don't take it for granted. A classic example is the Motor River. The Motor River has so many sources. When you see the, the size of that river and the amount of sources coming to that, it, it, it's not hard to think about how fast you work it, you know, the water level could rise and how deep it could get and how dangerous it could get when leaves and, and trees and things coming out and that kind of thing. So, something to pay attention to. So, this is the beautiful Rampanagas waterfall. Very, very nice. It is shallow for kids to build. Uh, it is children friendly. You can walk all the way below the waterfall and get a nice back massage. Relax with your friends and family and enjoy the ambience and see it nature around you. So this is one on top. And I see the bottom one right there, which is about 10, about 10 to 12 feet depending on the time of the year. Right? But this one, everybody come to because they can sit and relax and have a conversation, you know? Pretty much that kind of old time feeling. You know that, that nostalgic kind of um, feeling? Yeah. And just enjoy nature. We always encourage that when you come by the river to walk that garbage bag and always do your part because people like to come and leave the garbage by the river. So we walk with the garbage bag and we pick up the garbage them like this here. Oh, and we um, carry it back out. It is very important to keep our environment clean because this is we thing. Yeah, and yeah, we yeah. gotta preserve our thing. Yeah. So the little that everybody could do to contribute, yeah. we have trying to be good looking really yeah, yeah, yeah. So Walk out like I was back and please love me as much as possible. Yeah. Clean up after all yourself. Ronald, I thought you said my mother could come here, why? Why not? Why are you looking like we had a jump down here? Nah, 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 nah. So, um, this spot of the trail is not very really faint-hearted, but it, 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 it's only really looking like this, right? So, we sidestepping going down. The roots on them are pretty strong. You could rely on them, and you can use the rope too also. So, it's not that difficult. It's only really looking like that, right? And we should be all good. Alright, well, you go first, man. If I slide, you'll catch me, right? Of course. Why not? So like you come and cut onion and meat and thing work. For my line.
It's like a citrus, like more orange, like an orange and fashion root had a right. child. That's what it's tasting like. Yeah. Will it grow wild? Will it grow wild? Or only by the seacoast that you can't find this. Um, yeah, you really can't find it like nowhere else. This and the um, sea grips. All right, but I, I ain't seen no um, sea grips in. Come here, they get gauge. Yeah. I saw a couple came here and the guy got down on his knees, man. I was like, hey, put your location, boy. So, if you know you're planning to do that, we can set a moment for you. <laughs> so, we've changed out from our wet clothes. <laughs> Time to eat now, boy. Alright, good, so. Wow. We buy seaside flames here. Uh, well, we all see the settings here. And there's a lot of food here. A lot of local food. She gave us a uh, white meat. We have tattoo, she has duck, we have goat, we have crab, we have fish. We have the bad rice. So my friend, I love the bad rice. So, let me, let me try it and see that. Wait, wait, wait. Rice, I, I love you, sure. yeah, rice always tastes. You can eat this bag rice just like this. Yeah, yeah, I really add anything to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so we barely pulled one there, but I feel we gotta go on the next right now. <laughs> of course, of course, but if you don't do that, you'll go to my social origin, thought and adventures on Instagram, TikTok. They want to bike out to me, they want to bike man, I'm gonna show them the bikes here. So if you want to reach us, you can contact us on 337 4381. That's the bag, it's or follow us on. Instagram at Arash Tours and Adventures on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Also, you can follow the Chief Prime Lifestyle and Chief Prime Adventures. And we will get it better with you. Customize that tour for you guys, with your family and friends, and give you guys that experience that we really need. Because we don't need to be all just because we can experience it. Just reach out to us. Yeah, this was truly an experience for Angela. I mean, this is something that should have been able to see. It's in that you don't have a gift card, yeah? Oh, wow. Uh, Botting. Botting. You know, you can't come to Oko. And you ain't got a gift. Wow. Uh, Osima Shell. You understand? Wow, so tell us about this brand. So, this Toko Osima Shell is manufactured in Toko, right? All the Simas come from the rocks in Toko. You know, it's very pretty. So, for his um, most dried heat processor from scratch, right? He is from Toko. Um, this brand is on all shelves and all our extra food shelves. You can go in and have extra food and get your Toko Simos gem on the shelves. Or you can contact him on Instagram and Facebook. The same um, handles and his handle number is right there, which is 267 1263. Right? And you can follow him on Instagram, Facebook, and get your natural organic Toko gem. Nice, I really appreciate it.